to install PEX A piping, you need what's called an expansion tool. Now there's two different types out there. You can go with the uh, battery operated expansion tools. Uh, Milwaukee makes one and DeWalt makes one. Uh, they're gonna run to you around between four and $500. It's gonna make your job a lot easier. So if this is a really, really big job you're doing or something that you're gonna be doing on a regular basis, I would highly recommend going with the, um, the electric one. Now this is the manual tool. I think I picked this up at Home Depot, but you can get these on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link in the description to, um, to one of these. So the way it works is before you start, you want to, it comes with this tube of grease. You want to put just a little bit of grease on that cone there. Uh, mine's already pretty greased up, but just a little bit um, and kind of wipe it around. This kit that I bought came with three heads. It's got the inch head, the three quarters, and the half inch. So once you've got your cone greased there, you take, we're going with three quarters for this demonstration. You take the three quarters head, you have to pull this all the way out and you just screw it on. You can kind of see how that works when you push the handle down, it expands. Now we'll take our piece of PEX. This is three quarters inch PEX A. You wanna make sure you're using PEX A. Um, these expansion tools are not for use with PEX B. You wanna get a nice square cut on the end of your pipe. Just like so. And you've got your expansion rings. These slide right over top. And there's a stopper on the top of that ring, so it'll only go on one way, and then it'll stop when it's all the way on. And you take your expansion tool, you open it all the way up, and it goes right in there, just like so. And as you expand it, you want to spin the pipe or the tool. It's recommended that you spin it around as you expand the pipe out. There's directions in here with the tool, and it'll tell you, like, so if you have half-inch tubing, you're gonna need three to four expansions. If you have three quarters inch tubing, you're gonna need seven to nine expansions, and one inch tubing is 12 to 14 expansions. So your goal is to expand it until the end of the tube is flush with the uh, this cone piece here. So the first two to three pumps of this tool, you'll notice aren't that hard, but once you get up into five, six, seven, it's it really takes some elbow grease. Pipe in. Go one, turn it. I kind of have the other, this piece here sitting on my knee just to get a little more leverage. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You can see we're flush there. Let's expand it out. We'll take our fitting. Goes right in. We've got some time. It's still going in fine. Getting a little resistance there, so you probably have 25 seconds or so to get your fitting on. And you just want to push the fitting till uh, these little tabs here are flush with the pipe. We'll just let that sit. And PEX A has memory, so it's just going to shrink right back down to its original size. And you can see there's kind of like a barbed lip here, and it's going to shrink right around that. Just trying to pull it off here. It is snug. So that joint's finished. If you make a mistake and you need to remove a fitting, I'm going to show you the best way to do that. So um, take a heat gun, and you want to heat up this expansion ring first. Take a razor, just slice it off. By heating it, it softens it up a lot. You can just easily slice right through it. Just don't slice all the way through the pipe yet. Just pops off just like that. So now we'll just heat up our pipe a little bit.
And you don't want to cut all the way through the pipe tour and potentially damage these brass barbs here. So you just slowly cut. There we go. So once you've done that, you want to take pipe cutters and cut off any portion of the pipe that's expanded. I would go back pretty far, maybe three inches back. And now you've got your pipe ready for a new expansion ring and fitting. Now obviously if you're in a really tight spot up in the attic or something, you might might not be something you want to do up in the attic with the heat gun and the razor. Um, but you can always just cut your fitting off with your um, pipe cutters and then put your new fitting on whatever you're whatever you're changing out and then bring this fitting out into an open area like this and uh, use your heat gun and your razor to, to get the old pieces of pipe cut off because you don't want to throw these away. This, this fitting alone is about $9. So.